Hey, hey, welcome to my latest video. Things I learned by keeping my storage unit for five years or something like that. I don't know what I'm gonna call it yet, but it's gonna be all about um, the storage process. I'm vlog I vlogged the process of me cleaning out my storage unit. I had, I had the unit for over seven years, but for five years, I hadn't visited it at all. So I'm gonna tell you pretty much what I learned when I cleaned it out. I'm putting this at the front of this video because I know some of y'all ain't gonna watch all the way to the end. And these are really important learning. So let's go. All right, number one on my list. <clears throat> Let me check my list. Number one on my list. Oh, you don't need all that stuff. You don't need all that stuff. All that stuff you thought you need, all that stuff you put in the storage, you don't need it all. I um, I looked at my storage unit and there were so many times where I was like, something would be wrapped up and I'd be like, what is that thing? I don't know what that thing is. Like, I even, <laughs> at one point, I um, when I was getting rid of my stuff, there was a piece of storage, there was like a table that I got, that I got from West Elm. It had a West Elm tag on it. So I know I bought it from the store, which you know isn't inexpensive, right? Um, I don't remember ever owning it. I looked at it and I was like, I don't, did I, I owned this? Did not remember it at all. I should have sold that before I left. Now, I didn't have a lot of time before I put my things back in storage to deal with things. Um, but if I didn't remember owning it, I probably never needed it to begin with. Okay. I say this as someone who is a bit of a maximalist. I am, after my storage unit moments, you'll see in the video, um, I realized that these are things I could work on doing better, right? I don't need everything. Um, I definitely don't need all those things in storage. So <clears throat> if I were to ever do storage again, I think my rule would be if it was something that was absolutely irreplaceable, I could keep it, but otherwise I had to get rid of it. Like I had two coffee tables in storage in my storage unit. Are coffee tables irreplaceable or can I get another coffee table? I can get another coffee table. I don't need two coffee tables in storage. I've never had two living rooms. So I don't know why I had two coffee tables, but irrelevant. Next on my list, um, going through your storage unit is going to take more time than you think. I had two weeks, two solid weeks to do that. I thought what was gonna happen was I was gonna go to the Bay Area, um, from Mexico City, I live in Mexico City now, so I couldn't bring, I can't like just truck everything down. It's just, it's a way complicated process. But I thought I was gonna go through it and take about a week of getting, sorting through things, and then another week of like doing fun things because I hadn't been in the Bay Area for over five years. I was excited, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna see my friends, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do that, we're gonna go to Alcatraz, we're gonna go blah, 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 we're gonna cruise through Oakland, do all, no. <laughs> No, I had a meetup with my Exodus Summit sisters, um, a community that I run. But other than that, I was in the storage unit dusk till dawn every day. Dawn to dusk. Maybe, I, yes, dawn to dusk every day. Every single day I was in the storage unit grinding. Every single day I was in the house we rented, organizing, getting rid of things. And there were two of us. I couldn't. Let's say that too. I couldn't imagine doing it on my own. Let's make this point number three, because <clears throat> this is an important point. So we'll have it all by itself. Um, I thought I knew that I, I didn't want to do it by myself, so I brought a friend with me. But the minute I opened the door to my storage unit, I saw all the stuff. You'll see it. The minute I opened the door and I saw all the stuff, I was like, if I was here by myself, I would just close the door and walk away. I would just close the door and walk away because what is this? What is this? Why am I? I would have closed the door and been like, thank you. God bless. It's been fun. Um, and then chill for two weeks with my with friends. I don't know, but it was too much. Uh, so number, now new point four is, oh, I packed a lot of things in suitcases, but I also had a lot of clothes. Some of them went into garbage bags. Um, I had friends going to my storage unit while I wasn't there and you know, shipping things around, things moved, things fell out of garbage bags. The things that had fallen out of garbage bags, absolute trash, immediately trash, immediately, imme the layer of dust that was on everything after five years 
was gross. The layer of dust that was visible on fabric after five years, burn it. <laughs> Down comforter that was not covered. I don't know when in the five year process it became uncovered, but it was, there were a lot of things that we gave away, but like even a, like a really nice heavy down comforter, I wouldn't have been comfortable giving it away with all that dust on it. And we washed everything before we gave it away. Um, but even washing it wouldn't have, I think washing it would have just got like the dirt inside. It was just so gross. Um, so yeah, anything that's not like covered well, I would, if I did it again, I would put clothes in two trash bags. One and then another one outside. All right, next on the list. <clears throat> Rats. Rats like wicker baskets. Rats like to chew on things that you wouldn't think. Like there actually was, I found I think one food item in my storage unit. The rats didn't find that. They eat the food. They were brownies, like a plastic wrap. Now, let's talk about American food real quick. The brownie, no mold, no nothing. It was like individually wrapped from a company. These are shipped all over the country. Um, but I don't know what kind of preservatives they had in there. A thing looked edible. Now, of course we threw it away, but I was like, there's no sign of age on this brownie. I'm suspicious. I probably shouldn't have been eating them to begin with. Okay, but the rats, they ain't find that. Every wicker basket I have, every basket. I like baskets. I say that as I'm sitting beside, well, this is like a, uh, not a wicker one, but it's like a, I don't know how to describe it. It's not fabric, it's like thread. Anyway, them rats came in and were like, I'll be eating this now. So when we got to the storage unit, fortunately for us, the first corner we went to had a basket. And so when we were in that corner, first day, first corner, we were in the corner, we looked on the ground, we were like, are those insects? Or, and then we decided they were rat droppings because we could see chew marks right above where the basket was. So, Uh, don't go, <laughs> when you go to your storage unit, this is point number seven, but I'm gonna make it point number six now. Keep it rolling. Uh, make sure you have protective equipment. Even if you can't see rat droppings or any kind of animal or insect, be prepared that this, they might be there. So go ahead and get gloves. We got a broom, uh, masks, Lysol spray, wipes, trash bags. All those things came really, really in handy um, and they made our life easier. We didn't have to stop, like <clears throat> from where my storage unit was, a Target was like less than a mile away. So we just went to Target and grabbed everything. But for you, you might as well start right, right? I might as well start with all the things you need. I want that for you. Um, Cause like I said, if we hadn't seen the droppings in the beginning, we would have been using our bare hands, no mask to go through it and then probably seen the droppings in the back and known that the rat, if a rat was in this place, it was probably all over the place and we've been touching where rats were. Um, another point, every, every piece of clothing we got out of there, I washed multiple times in vinegar, first in vinegar and then in soap, so that if there was any like rat contact, it would, uh, you know, it would wash it away. And please don't tell me, <laughs> the two washes of vinegar and soap did not get it away. I don't need to hear that. Like that might be factually true, but please let me live in my delusion, right? Like let me live in my delusion that I'd have to throw away all those clothes, especially like even the things that were tightly in bags, all of that. No matter how it was, we washed it twice. Um, so let me live with the delusion that these things are all clean now and I can wear them and I'm not gonna catch like dengue fever from the rats. I know you don't, I know, I know that's not how you get it, but please. Please, I don't need the comments telling me I'm a cat. Catch rat and mouth disease. Thank you. Okay, last on the list. Okay, actually, I have two more things for the list. The first is um, big vehicles cut down on trips. I rented a Forerunner, and I was very, very grateful for it because we loaded it full of stuff and took it to the house like four times in a day. 
the best day we had though, I had a friend come help me and she didn't help me sort through the things. But what she did was she loaded her, her regular size vehicle, like it wasn't an SUV, it's you know, a regular car. But she helped load that up and then we did the forerunner and her car to the house and we loaded and unloaded the car together. And that is one of the days that made the biggest difference for me in the clean out. Having one other person to make the, to do the load with us and one other car to do the load with us and move the stuff over, super, super helped. By the way, I'm saying the house, we could not have done that in the hallway. In the, <laughs> Some of you can clean out your storage unit in the storage unit hallway. We, I, You'll see, <laughs> you'll see when you get to the video why that was not gonna work for me, the amount of things and why that was just, didn't we needed a, a sorting place and so we used the house the garage of the house and the rest of the house for that okay oh yeah uh what was the other point i was gonna say big vehicles cut down on trips oh that was it big vehicles cut down on trips and having one other person having more people even if it's not to sort through but just to move the things you need moved so much help so much so much help so get to watching the vlog um i hope it is educational leave your judgment to the side please leave your judgment somewhere else you can think it but you probably don't need to type it remember i'm an artist and i'm sensitive about my shit <laughs> Trying to get you some footage. Recording now. Okay, is there something you need to say? Uh, can you see me? I think so, but the Action. light's probably better this way. Action. Well, I learned the light. Okay, so I'm at my storage unit, and we're about to go see what five years of not looking at storage looks like. There may be tears. There may be tears. I don't know. I have no idea it's what to expect. It's a little chilly in here. Yeah. One, one, two, one. This way, right? Yep. This is the size of the units. Okay. Mm -hmm. How are you feeling right now? A little anxious, but not so much. Oh, look at the dust on this. Mm -hmm. It hasn't been opened. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> what is, is does anything slide no. with that? Maybe. Yes, it does slide with that. But also, what I thought was happening is actually happening. Oh. Something on the back side is it's pushing things. Yeah. Okay. Oh, and it's, okay. it's full. Oh, what you thought? I don't know. I think I thought I think I thought we might walk in and there might be space. Oh. Hi. Oh. Um I'm like how'd they get the bed out? I'm <laughs> I'm now I guess that's what I, I am, you know how when people talk about things you envision in your head and I kind of, I think I envisioned a room, but there was enough space to walk in where the bed was easily, the bed that you gave away was easily slid out and then, you know, you just close the door behind you. I think the bed was in the back, so I don't know how they got it, but I want y'all to see Adelia's face when she saw my storage unit. Because she said she won't go be judgmental. I'm not ju It's just, I, 
the mental image I had was not accurate. That's all. When I said I had a lot of shit. There's a lot of stuff in here. Um, so, um, all right. Where do we start today? Okay, this is a suitcase I left with a friend. So I know this has clothes that we can take this to the house. And put okay. This says Rashida's and is rats. And I think that's Erica's writing. I don't know. No idea what's in this. So we'll take this. Okay. So that's basically what, I guess that's the best way to approach this is what are the things easiest to take back to the house today? Boots. Oh. This is a TV. Yeah. Okay. This looks like it's a. This looks like it's a vanity a stool, or is that the table? It looks like it's my my bedside table, but it, I only see three legs. It's supposed to have four. Oh no! I think this is a, a leg right here. Oh, somebody's got some splaining to do. What's a cake stand? That says fragile. Yes, can you, you see? You see how? <laughs> but I see how the box says fragile and the box is bent. I did not. Honestly, I didn't know there was so much stuff in here. Okay, so you're even surprised. I'm even surprised. My steamer. I don't like how many of these boxes say fragile that are dented. Do you even recall owning no, that? I don't. Not at all. I'm wondering if some of my mom's stuff ended up in here. It shouldn't. I am at a I am at a loss, y'all. I am at an absolute loss of what this stuff is and what I'm gonna do with it. We have two weeks for this. <laughs> I was just thinking there are a lot of boxes to go through. Yes. Okay. So. Oh. It's an air purifier. It um, absorbs this charcoal thing. This is... Looks like a headboard. Looks like a headboard, but I thought I gave my headboard away and I only had one bed up here. It's really cold in here. Is that a coach bag and a uh, bicycle helmet? Why, yes. Well, yes it is. And a dust bag for a Kate Spade bag, but I'm guessing it's dusty because it ain't in here. Not the Kate Spade bag that you have. No. Okay. Just My drill set? Uh huh. Which I don't know why someone would put it in here upside down. Oh, no. Things have happened. This. Is that bugs or is that rodents? I think. I don't know. Can you get a little closer? Mm, that uh, it looks like rodents. Yeah. Well, no, those might be bugs. It's hard to tell. It's hard to tell. For a minute, I thought it was rubbing something that we were like rubbing against. No. Like here. Okay, this is making me think rodents. Oh yeah, that's making me think. Yeah. Rodents. Oh yeah, that's what that is. And this has mold on it there. Okay, so there were some rats in here. There were some rats in here. There were some rats in here. There may still be some rats in here. Mia, could you get in here and... I mean, she is... Shuffle up against our, a little Schnauzers, bit? I think, are supposed to hunt vermin, but, you know, she's 13 years old and damn near blind. Okay, so we could take the ladder from the top and start moving stuff out. I'm trying... I did not expect it to be this... The art is right here. Okay. So it's on the bottom, but I do not get the impression that this is flooded ever. No, 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 no. There's nothing to indicate that. No, but that, those were definitely rats. I think the rodents might make this a little easier for you. <laughs> As someone who has had to do that in their life a time or two. <laughs> yeah, that's rodent poop right there. Okay. okay, so that's also disgusting. So we probably need gloves. Yeah. So, um... Is, yeah, we probably do need gloves now that we've ascertained that. Um, is, cause like, what about the shit that doesn't even leave here? Right. Like the chewed up basket. 
it, there's no trash here yeah, we can use. We have to, uh, yeah. okay. Maybe we need to regroup. You wanna... I somehow did not think there was this much stuff in here. So you too thought there was more room. I, I wonder if, is that the, the, the camel saddle? I see some yeah. legs. Up. No, it's small, so you wouldn't okay. see it like that. That is an Ikea chair. One of those fake wooden ones with the back and the thing. Uh-huh. Okay. Um, I feel like we might need to regroup. <laughs> <laughs> because the introduction of rodents does mm -hmm. add a, a level of safety mm -hmm. precaution that needs to be taken. Yes. Um, I mean, I guess we can take the stuff right here. I think so. We can go get gloves. We can go get gloves at Target. Yeah. So we can be right back here. And yeah. What else do we need to do? Maybe masks? Yeah. Yeah, gloves and masks would be the main thing. And I hadn't really thought about things that wouldn't that wouldn't even make it to the sorting pile. Mm. And like my beautiful glass bedside table that now has three legs and I left it with four. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Or the basket, which would have been good to give away if some body had rat chewed hadn't. it. Yeah, so like those things, uh, yeah, I hadn't thought about disposal. I thought about disposal in terms of we've taking, things to, taking the, things to the house, then we decide to get rid of it. I hadn't really considered things that shouldn't even make it to the house. All right, I feel like... I do not remember half this way. I don't know how she got a bed out of here because I'm pretty sure the bed was in the back. No, the bed couldn't have been in the back because there's 2016 stuff and there's 2018 packing and it would have been mm -hmm. in the 2018 packing. But how she got it out of there, a full, a full mattress. Would have, so maybe there's less packed in there than we think because, because just a mattress and a bed spring, a mattress, <laughs> bed spring, and headboard and rails came out of here and uh -huh. it don't look like but she took it out hmm. oh so i think she did she told me she was going to it may still be back there. it may still be back there <sighs> okay well i was like what about this in this plastic bag but no, we no, no okay i think we put everything back okay what well, i wish we could spray it with some kind of maybe get some lysol cans probably okay Everything back. I am curious what this is. Yeah, I have no idea. Oh, this is heavy. If I see a rat in here, girl. <laughs> in theory, they should have moved on because there was no food in here. No. Right, the spices. But it should have been oh, food. I don't. I don't know how they feel about spices. What happened to the light? Can we get more light down here? I don't know. This this one went out. It's not even motion detected. <sighs> it should just be on, shouldn't it? Like it looks like. And I'm scared. Such a yeah. <laughs> Okay, Lysol, gloves, and masks. Masks. Do you have masks in the car? Uh, yeah, right? I, yeah, I have. Okay. Let's... I can take out some stuff. Mm -mm, you're stuck on this. Is that what it's stuck on? I'm so scared to touch this stuff I feel now. like it's stuck on that. There you go. Well, here's the thing. Is anybody going to come steal it? I don't know. <laughs> what do you think? Are you even in this? This has kitchen stuff. So. Are we sure? Yeah, so 
Yeah. yeah. And it's heavy and it's not moving. Yeah. <laughs> and this isn't going to be an easy to hold, is it? <laughs> now it's getting caught on the rug. <laughs> Which grosses me out because it's got mold and it's close to the rest. doing this but it's gonna be harder to open you know yeah <laughs> okay so we don't get it locked back we just go we get the stuff we come back and okay. we look for a dumpster or at least like the the, the rug we can put in a, a plastic bag it? i think we don't Cause we're coming back, right? Right. Yeah. Is the TV gonna be there when we get back? It might not be. Do we care? I don't care about that. I just don't know. Every time I hear a no, noise that's inside, just stuff sliding. I know, I know, but every time I hear a noise from inside, I'm expecting. You to Uncle Splinter, come and like, <laughs> Master Splinter to come and do some shit. Okay. Lysol sprays. Yes. Trash, trash bags, bags. And gloves, gloves. definitely. Okay. And then, can you turn that off? You didn't, oh no, you didn't turn it off. Friends. Rats. <laughs> so far, the only thing we've seen chewed up is a basket, which I couldn't have taken with me anyway. It could have gone to be donated somewhere, but. Yeah, no big deal. But rats oh. mean rat poop. Hold on. You, would you like me to spray your hands? I would love to be sprayed my hands. Rats mean rat poop. So there's rat poop in there, which um, maybe like a little what is, is dust, dust pan. pan too much. Well, uh, it's hard to tell. Can I get some more spray? I yes. feel like. <laughs> I know. Okay, and I have... All right. No cheese, no onions, no vegetables, no spread. Just meat, bread. I, I, I would say ketchup, but that might confuse people and then they put other... We can, we can have ketchup on the side for you. That's fine. Okay. So just a double meat hamburger basically plain okay and a vanilla shake vanilla shake okay would you like any fries today are you getting fries i'm getting fries i'll split your fries okay so i will do a number one okay uh animal style okay uh, with a chocolate shake chocolate shake and then will you guys be eating in the car yes okay, so i have a double double animal style a double meat plain just the meat bun only one fry one vanilla shake and one chocolate shake That'll be 1965. It's gonna be the first window, please. Okay. Thank, Thank you. In and out. In and out. I think that's somebody else's theme song. Okay. I'm very excited about this meal situation. This is what I look like when I'm excited about food. Thank just, you. I'm never. Right. You had a double. Okay, so this is double meat. Uh huh. This is good for you. Uh huh. Okay. Are you never not excited about food? Can I give that to you, or is Mia yeah. going? No, no, no. First time. It's been a while. It's been a while since you were you, you last checked. Yeah. Things back in before okay. we left. So that's when we saw it. Yeah, that's. And then we saw the rat had been chewing there. Yeah, yeah, because um, actually, rats likes the rags and mops. This is the garage or Airbnb. We are filming in here because we're going to use this empty space as a workspace. 
this is what it looks like when we're checking. Or we checked them yesterday. We haven't been in the garage yet, but we need to unpack some stuff from my storage unit. So we're gonna do that in here. This is the before and we'll film the after. All right, hi. In the storage units, we are, we're not. <laughs> oh, wait, 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 okay, hello. One, two, three. I feel like I need to give you some light. Oh, there is a light in here. Look. Oh, okay. We're learning things as we go. This is our fourth trip here. And if she can't touch the light. Shit. <laughs> Shit. The camera is, we have a ladder. The camera is set up on the ladder. But this is a little bit more light here. You can see deep into the back, there's lots of stuff up high. So let me take you a little closer. There's stuff. This is Adelia's. This Reach your one. hand up high. Okay. That's how high our hand is. You see back there, we are far and Above away from that. that stuff. Oh no, that's a that's a ten foot ceiling. That's we think it's a ten foot ceiling, and stuff is piled all the way to the ceiling. So and all the way side to side. You see Adelia's head here. She is not a short. No. Um, and that's the top of her head, and this is how far things are up and around. And we've done three trips to two trips. Th two trips of stuff. Have and left we can already. Now yes. Get so where part. she's standing now is where we cleared out in two trips, and. I don't know how to tell y'all, but that is not one tenth of the storage unit. Oh, no. Two trips did not get us one tenth of the storage unit. We still got a ways to go. We got, we probably got 40 trips left. Yay. All right. So we're going to start doing it and put my gloves on. I don't know what it does in the box. Okay. There we go. Let me stop talking and start working. That's where I used to live in uh, Ohio. It's heavy. Whatever it is. Yoga accessories is what this box originally had. Okay, so I know what it was. I would love to take it with me, but it's not. It's not realistic. That's an office shit. Oh. An office shit is a perfect. Oh no! Take this over. Okay. I will work for these are boxes of hangers. Uh huh. There's a work shirt here that's coming out. I don't know if that ripped or whether. No, this, this looks like rats. this looks like somebody grabbed it and ripped it. Yeah. And not mouse ripped it. So we're trying to figure out what is ripped from rats and what is um. Oh, we should be spraying things. We have cleaning supplies like last fall because we are we're and masks and gloves because of the we found rat droppings in here and rat chewing. So we're spraying everything. We'll have wipes, gloves, spray. I'm off to spray everything that we've taken out. That is recording? Yes. Ooh, I see the head up in there that I love. I should have done something protective with my hair because it keeps touching the ground. Yeah. I cooked. I see kitchen. Kitchen shit. Fragile kitchen shit. Regular kitchen shit. I still don't see what? a mattress, so. So it may not be there. Is this? No, this is a box. I don't think this is the back of my headboard. Oh, maybe I put concrete back there. I mean, sorry, maybe I put it. Headboard. Oh, snow boots. <laughs> Audience, we have snow boots. Which I probably don't need in Mexico. Although, I don't find a snow retreat for us to go to. I was going to say, but if you go someplace that has snow. I found it for us. You heard I say us. And then he went to me doing it. I found a place for us to go to. It's just such an eclectic collection. And you know what this is? That looks like some kind of robe. Oh, no, that's a sorry. Oh, okay. But I'm saying this is a boot box. Oh. 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 
And it's a special gift in the book box. A special gift? Yes. I don't know if I like the sound of that. He just rated. <laughs> <laughs> You got bested by a bag of clothes. <laughs> uh, and a good laugh. I was trying to make the icky box not fall on me. And the icky box fell on me? Yes, despite my my best intentions. Well, it's really a bag. It's not a box. Okay, so the man at the storage unit was like, I can come spray something so that if there were any rats, they'll leave. And then we opened it up and he was like, oh, it's full? I can't spray it if it's full. Sir, why do you think I want it sprayed? Because it's empty? You think I've been paying storage for five years? I'm like two boxes in a corner? Okay. Tell me if you even want to bother with what's in this bag. I need to bother with the bag because it's homemade from my thingy. It's my thingy. Okay. What is inside the bag? That looks like the pillowcase that matches that, and a sweatshirt. And it looks Can we like put it in a plastic? That matches the one that's in the trash. Yeah, yeah. we'll put this in the trash. trash. Yeah, that's fine. Can you, it, it, it is the same thing, right? Yes. Okay. Because it's, it's got a, it's West Elm, it's got a bedding <laughs> thing. <laughs> I'm sorry. I had to throw away my down comforter and this beautiful West Elm cover because they were I'm pretty sure I left them in a plastic bag, but when I got here, they were not in a plastic bag, and the layer of dust on them was, it looked like you could like knock the dust over, and it would physically like topple like a domino. There was so much dust on it. It seemed unhealthy to put on your bed, so it's in the trash, which makes me really sad, because I know. I loved it. It's such a pretty color. Okay. Oh, we lost our light again. This keeps happening to us. This seems like whoever came in here. Um, it is on that. This piece of like you don't put stuff on a piece of furniture like that because you can break the legs. Um, I was trying to see what our little larval friends were on back here, and then I lost my light, and I was trying to determine that is this, that's a rug, another rug, one of my faves. Is this something that our rodent friends got to? And then I lost my light. Okay. And if you stand on this. Can you reach up that high? If I make sure you don't fall. Give me that little basket by my feet. That'll at least bring the string. Teamwork! Okay. And you think this is going to work? Let's this see. This ball ain't been turned on. And... Yay! Storage! So. Girl, DVD is back in the corner. <laughs> like right here. Oh, so they have every basket. Yeah, is that damage? That's what I was about to ask. Is that damage that already existed? I don't think so. So this might not be insects. That might just be baskets. Okay. Well, then I feel a little better. <laughs> it's just rat chewing. Okay. What in the ever loving fuck is this? That's what I'm. It's a table. I don't but know what table. See? No. Okay. Okay. I revised. The rodents were here. Because. We've got more rodent stuff, y'all. They gnawed. On the basket on something and something fell down because there's rodent droppings in here and there's like sawdust. Okay. For lack right. of a better word. So this okay. is, this we'll is put fine. this in a bag because there may be rodent droppings in it. Hopefully not. We have bags for this. Um, We're washing everything in hot water multiple times with vinegar, with um, Detergent. Oh, there's another umbrella. Yeah, that's two under the chair. One that we took home yesterday. 
And I, I think I found another one. Let him. It rained a lot. It's very flooding out here. <laughs> Before that, I was in Ohio. And there's some underwear on the floor. Okay, I think that's a little broth in. that the rats have bitten so far and they're both baskets like dried baskets made of like grasses or wicker so the the <laughs> the rats have eaten woven baskets but nothing else that we can find it also means that there are rat droppings around yeah. the basket which is annoying this is why we're in gloves and masks Did you spray this box? I think so, but can you spray again? Thank you. Okay. Well, I didn't spray this bag before we put it inside the bag, but whatever. It's in the bag. Yeah. Okay. That seems like the next obvious thing because I didn't want to pull this because that may be supporting that. This and whatever's on top of looks like a couch cushion. Yeah, I think that's my IKEA couch cushion. Okay. This seems to be wedged. Mm -hmm. So that this can possibly go and then we deal with and then I was like, oh my god, am I gonna find a good rat? Shoes. Lots of shoes. Lots of shoes. Is that what that is? Shoes? Oh yeah, so because I saw those. I don't know, this is the bucket shoes. They turned over and I was like, oh, I know those boots. Shoes! Gentle reader, shoes! Boxes and boxes of hangers and boxes and boxes of shoes. Yeah. No. If I had known I wasn't coming back, I definitely would have gotten rid of all these hangers. This light is a joke. To be perfectly honest, I am almost terrified to reach things that I can't physically see because I don't know if anything's hiding around the corner. I have no reason to believe there are any rats in here right now because we know there are rats in here. It's making me very nervous. So I think I'm going to have to get, when I reach for stuff up high, I'm going to have to get the ladder to make sure that I can see around it when I'm getting it because otherwise it's giving me the icks, the big icks. I found a lot of really beautiful things in here though, so we're not at the point of getting rid of everything, but lots of big icks. And some things that I think I belong to my mom and not me because I don't recognize them. All right, I think that's it for now. All right, this is how storage is going. This is Adelia. This is, <laughs> this here is, and this, and this out here is less than one fifth of the storage unit. Immediate concern, probably swept this area and not this area and so I'm probably in here yesterday. It didn't take this long to fill this up. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you that. And I came from Oakland.
Did you have a big truck? I don't remember. When you say things like, I don't remember, I'm like, how can she not remember? I don't, girl. You don't think I blocked out this shit out of my life? <laughs> out of my memory? <laughs> Woo! Okay. Gloves are in here. I'm impressed that these still work. Yeah. I was like, you you hold it like a cop. You hold it like <laughs> Like you're the police, baby. Had, like you've been here before. I've had one or two uh, in my face <laughs> over the years. So I'm, I'm a little These people thinking that. Adelia is one thing, not knowing she the oh, other. Know. Not knowing she the other. My children know They think I was the most boring square person around. And I'm like, like girl. <laughs> Adelia had a life, I tell you. Because you're a hater and you've never loved me. Okay. You are avoiding it. Clearly. <laughs> I'm clearly avoiding it. And you're refusing to let me avoid the thing that was very close to the rat infestation. Well, because that's what I'm like. Let's get it out of here. Let's back that shit up. You're a hater. Adelia's a hater. <laughs> oh, well, I'm not wearing a mask. I mean, it could be a dehumidifier, or it could be something else. Oh, no, it's just an assortment of, of things. Random motion? Yeah. Okay. Just an assortment of random things that happen to be heavy. So maybe a, some books or something, but it's like a stationary. I'm clapping it if I have to. Um, I had got some stationary names. My name used to be Adelia Elstad Davis. When I got the course, I didn't want to get the stationery, so I just X through the Davis and sent it out anyway. That's a new over graphic. You can't reach that, right? Or is that another thing? Uh, no. I'm like two so inches close. too short for it. You want to deal with this now? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing ran out. Nothing ran out. Because I'm worried, like, please don't let anything come out of this carpet. It feels like that's just the carpet. Well. Well, yeah. We'll let it down. But I don't see teeth marks in any of those boxes. I think it's just the basket. And this. So, I still don't know what this is. It's a nightstand. I see an umbrella. <laughs> I see another umbrella. Ooh. I love this rug. And it, normally I would think it would be fine if we didn't see the mold on the side of it. So do you want to untape it? No. Okay. So we just put it in a bag? My friend said she wants rugs. The only thing we see wrong with this is this thing right here. Well, wait, we don't think it chewed it? No. It just chewed the basket? I thought they had chewed this as well. Uh -uh. No? Do you see anywhere it looks like? Do you see teeth marks? Not really. I was more worried that there would be like a rat stuck in it than chewed it. I don't see teeth marks anywhere. Uh, okay. Okay. Oh, wait. Wait. No, that's not. That's not teeth marks. I think I can. I was like, is that just wear? I think that's just wear. And that may not be. That may not be mold. That may be. So if that's the rug she wants. Here. In theory, I should be able to sample this box of copy paper. Well, since we're here, since we're here. And what's really giving me some PTSD is because this is what I used to have to do. I would be the sacrificial person to go see if the rat's still in it. 
Okay, well, therapy for all of us. <laughs> This is the leg of, of my coffee table. So there's another coffee table here I didn't know about. Okay, friends. This is, um, oh, they really went to town over yeah. here. <laughs> this is the rat damage that we found so far. This is all of it. You can see they ate through over here, this basket from World Market. This basket has this rim over here. Over here, that rim is <laughs> absolutely gone. This is all we can find. This and another basket in here are the only things we've found that the rats have chewed on, but the rat really said, we doing this. Um, when I went to the storage office and I was like, hey, I just need to make sure I'm cleaning up after rats properly. They were like, how do you know it's a rat and not a mouse? And I was like, mother does it matter? Like, <laughs> I'm trying not to catch rat disease. <laughs> like, does it really matter whether it's a rat or a mouse? But. Yeah, this is, other than this, the storage unit is in perfect condition. Some things are a little moldy, tiny bit, but. But I think that's more like wipeable of a of that can be thrown away. The condition they were in. Yeah. Like, I don't know what could be on something that would make it more susceptible to mold, but I think that's what happened. Um, there is a pair of glasses here. Otherwise, I don't. Oh, there might be a fur thing in there. I see something too from this angle. Not an animal, like oh. one of your fur things. It wouldn't have been like that. It might be like a feather on a hat, but it's not okay. actual fur. I look at it from this angle. I thought it was an actual. What's up? What's that? Screws? Yes. To something. I would have guessed to the dog crate. Except that the truth of the dog will be there. It's a B and W bag. You it's a sailing it? bag for water activities. So yes, I want it. It's in plastic. I want it. But it's one of those weird ones. Just keep it in that okay. box. This I'm going to put in the bag over here. Okay. And that's what I was going to suggest with this as well. Yep. This is our bag of things that the rat may have touched. That furry thing is not a rat. You're sure about that? Yes. It is not a rat. I thought it was like a fur collar or something. It's a fur collar, but not like, it's a faux fur collar. Okay. It's not real fur. Okay. My real fur is tucked tight. Okay, so this thing I used to love this tank top, but since it was directly in the thing with the rat, <laughs> we're not even going to wash that. And then this goes on the trash too, This right? goes on the trash too, but not, I don't think, in that bag. So we can put it in a new bag. Yeah, bags are there. Okay. Let me get the bag. Yeah. Okay. Um, 
So um, this was in that bag too, right? Yes. Put that yes. In the thingy. Yeah. You feel this, Paula? Yeah, I know. My, my, some my friend here. that uh, keeps a bedroom at her house for me. All of their stuff is all flat, so I am familiar. This is a pot. All my remember I said I love my pots. Mm -hmm. All the pots. Okay, so let's get this out. It's open on this end. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's all the way. Like your clothes are falling out. Okay. So I say, let's just Close dump this bag. in a bag. Okay. Because we're losing. We have to go to bag anyway. I think we need to back to that. This is already heavy. Yeah. No. So this is your third day of cleaning out your storage unit. This is trip number five. Well, we finished trip number five. Yes. And what people see behind them is some of this is yours. Some of this is the Airbnb. Most of this is mine. <laughs> the stuff on the walls, on the very, very walls is the Airbnb. But even like this stuff over here is all mine. Um, and there's stuff inside. And I've been doing laundry nonstop for three days. I'm feeling a little overwhelmed with stuff like golf clubs. Right stuff or stuff that like is good and I should get rid of in a meaningful way. But I don't know what that is right now. Cause then I have stuff like this and I'm like, it's a piece of furniture, but I'm not quite sure what it looks like. It has legs, wooden legs, uh, but like, I don't know. A lot of these boxes are, I don't, I don't know. I don't know what's inside the boxes. Their bag, like that was a bag of coats I just did up. I'm feeling better than I did when I opened <laughs> When I opened the container, imagine, it's not much smaller. It's not as deep as this. It's yeah, probably but it's... this side, back to <laughs> but... like, back to here, I would say at least. And it's completely full ceiling, which is much higher. It's yeah, it's a ceiling. higher than ceiling. A higher is. ceiling completely full of stuff um and now when we go to a storage unit there's room to step inside there's room to move things around i haven't really been i've been washing stuff because even if i oh this is definite no i'm giving it away um unless it's like in pieces which nothing is so far um i'm washing everything and i'm mostly dealing with clothes so far so i don't feel like I've made much progress because there's not like these big yes piles and big yeah. no piles. I am getting very excited about some of the things I'm finding. Those definitely going in the <laughs> in the yes piles. I think the yes pile is going to get so large that it turns into a maybe pile. Um, so I don't have enough room for everything. But we're but not there yet. We're though. not there yet. Right now, it's mostly sorting what we have and figuring out what I need to keep. Like I know this is a candle holder. I won't be taking this to a new life, but how will Adelia be getting rid of it? We don't know yet. Like, I don't want to throw things away, but I don't know that someone's going to drive here to get this. Right? So, there's there's that kind of stuff where, like, little knickknacks. Like, I have a box full of light bulbs. I'm sure those can go somewhere. Maybe restore. Maybe we can take some furniture to restore. Oh, have yeah. for humanity. And they'll take light bulbs. I don't know. I don't know. But, personally, I know you thought you might be very emotional through this process. How are you doing emotionally? There are more highs than lows. They're more like, yes, I forgot I own that. Um, which may become a low. I don't know <laughs> when you figure out how to, how to get it on. <laughs> um, there are some things like um, my parents moved to America from England when I was two with these wooden boxes that they shipped their things in. And I've heard that my dad made them, but I don't know about that. Anyhow, these they're like wooden big storage boxes. And my sister always had one, and I have one, and now it's in my storage unit, and I don't know what I'm going to do with it, because I probably can't ship it down as an item to my, not, in, not not get it in good piece. Also ship it in cargo, which would still be a thing with customs and whatever. Um, and so I just don't know of things like that that have been in my family for over 40 years, what to do with them. Because they're not like, like if it's a photo, you know, you can scan it or you can give someone, I always have to give a little box of things to someone else to hold on to. But a huge storage box isn't the kind of thing you can just be like, hey, can you hold on to this for me for an indefinite, in, indefinite amount, of amount of time? Indefinite until, right? Um, and so there's 
things to figure out. Um, I had a whole lot of shit I did not need. <laughs> okay. I haven't she to said that. Files. I did not say that. She said that. She looked it. She looked me in the eye and told me without saying the words. <laughs> you said earlier, Adelia said, you were limiting yourself because of the amount of stuff I had. My no, business. that is not what I meant. I meant with your belief that you were going to come back to the exact same life that you left. So That's I what I meant. what I believe, huh? That is not huh? what I said. With the knowledge that I had. I'm just saying. With the knowledge that I had, I shouldn't believe what I believe. You didn't consider a possibility that. I didn't. I know. Didn't. And it's just wild that um, the, gr the life that was waiting for you wasn't even a thought. No. In your brain. No, otherwise, I wouldn't have a box of <laughs> candles. Medication. <laughs> medication. This is just full of candles and and scented things. Yesterday, I said I was talking to Delia. We we're going to the grocery store, and I said we should have a, we should get a candle. We're going to Trader Joe's so that the house feels more like a home. Like burn a little candle, whatever. And I was like, no, let's not buy them because I know there's a box of candles. And here we go. The next day, we find a box of candles. Um, there's a lot of stuff in the storage unit that I can't identify, and there's other stuff that I forget I had, I own, so I see it. I just found a box of purses, and I was like, oh! <laughs> forgot about those. So there's lots of that going on. Um, but otherwise, yeah, I feel good. I feel more, I feel more highs than lows. That's, that's great. That's great. Is that small space heater ours? No. That's theirs, right? No. Okay. The, uh... The thing is the end. Yeah. Right? Okay. Alright, I'm doing all the laundry. That's all, what you hear in the background. Washer and dryer going. Constantly. This Airbnb going to be mad at the funds. I may need to throw a little cash their way because of how much water and electricity we've used. <laughs> Gas. Because we're using the... Everything... A few things have like little like a little white cast on them, which we're assuming is mold. Um, but it may but not they, even be mold. I don't know what it mold, is. But they have a little bit of like... It's not like green mold. It's like a little bit of white on stuff. We assume it's mold, so we're washing them with vinegar or whatever. They're going to everything is getting washed multiple times, even if it's just going to like Goodwill. We're still washing them multiple times before we take them over. Um, but everything smells. Everything has a slight mildew. Um, almost everything has a slight mildew it, smell. Mildew or just old? Yeah, old. Just old. Like like old smell. stuff that's been in an attic for yes. a while. Yes. So we're washing everything. Gloves on because. A rat, at least one, <laughs> ran through and only ate wicker baskets. Yeah. Grass baskets were the only, only thing. We cannot find any other damage from the rat than the baskets, but the rat pooped in places. So we're mm -hmm. gloves. I was wearing a mask when we were in the storage unit. I'm not doing it now because I'm just doing laundry. Um, but yeah. It's a street sweeper. <laughs> oh. Here comes, here comes the noise. It's not sweeping very slowly. And it's not, not wet Nope. Nope. No, no water. Just brushing. And leaving the dirt there. Yeah. <laughs> when I used to live in Ohio, they, they wet it. I feel like this is just to get ticket money. Yeah, because that's not, like I said, who street sweeps on streets like this? I feel like this is just to get ticket money. Because why else would you? Yeah. Any Google. Um, yeah, I think that's it. Okay. All right. You getting video? Mm-hmm. Now, where did this champagne come from? I was part of the Shandon Little Wine Club, so... And then I was also part of another Wineries Wine Club, which is why the fridge has... And that's not the whole fridge. <laughs> That's on all this been in storage. So it's been in storage for five years, which might make the wine really, really amazingly good or big trash. We're going to find out. Same for the bubbles. Okay. That came out really good. <laughs> it was ready to go. It was ready to go. Let's see. We do not have proper glasses. Let me see no. if it's trash or bubbles. We're good. That'll do. Well, I think those are better choices than like coffee mugs. <laughs> that was our only other choice. <laughs> our Airbnb has coffee mugs and big wine glasses. And we are going to 
show them. Sort some of this madness. While we, it's the end of the night. I'm yeah. All this stuff. Yeah. So we're sorting while we go. Hmm. There were, there was Just a wine stopper. Because it's going to be, the oh, it's going to be over there. So I was like, I know there I, was there one. Is. And there's a, there's a proper champagne stopper too. Here. Okay. But I haven't seen it yet. So that's okay. The kitchen stuff. All right. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> What's that dance called? <laughs> Girl, crack. Drugs. Delirium. Hey, hey. It's the start of day six of clearing the storage unit. Those are my glasses falling. All right. It's the start of day six of clearing the storage unit. Um, you can see there's still a bunch of stuff there. Here's Adelia. Where is she? Is she there? Yes, yeah, she is there. Oh, I can't see without my glasses, y'all. Um, start of day five. We're probably going to take maybe four loads out today. We're going to work on this back wall, as I planned, and get it to a lower level. <laughs> get it to a manageable height. Um, every day we've come before, we've come, I landed on Monday, so we came Monday afternoon, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Every day we've come, we've been the only people in this aisle. Today we pulled up. It's about 11 a.m., and there are two people in the aisle already. Today is a Friday. So I'm guessing that Fridays and Saturdays and Sundays are going to be bad days to be at the storage unit. It's going to be kind of packed with people, which will make it hard to walk through the hallways and like we won't get good places to load our car. So we're going to try to do as much as we can today and hopefully have all that stuff in the garage at the Airbnb so we won't have to come back here over the weekend in case it's even more crowded than it is today. All right, here we go. this stuff gone mm -hmm. and so I can I, I can get it gone but then it's like but that's such a nice thing we should have tried to sell it and I don't know if is that a luxury we don't have I think it's too soon to say that this is overwhelming so I was instructed to come in here and have a confessional moment. So, because <laughs> there are probably things I'll say on this confessional that I won't say to my dear friend Rashida's face. I am very concerned that we do not have enough time to get rid of the things that need to be gotten rid of. I think we've made really great progress on the actual storage unit and we're probably down to the last 25, 20% of stuff. Now it's still in that corner of the storage room. It's still taller than I am, but um, I think we've made great progress there. The problem is there was enough stuff in the storage unit for a house much bigger than the house we are physically in. And so I'm struggling getting a sense of what all there is, getting Rashida to make hard choices about what absolutely has to go with her, but I understand that's a hard choice to make given we don't know what else is in the storage unit. Also, um, if we were not worried, if, if, if she didn't want to make any money on anything at all, I could probably get this most of this stuff gone. Um, because there's quite a few things I would just put on the trash. Because the people, bargain hunters, the people who go to garage sales, the people who are using OfferUp and Facebook Marketplace, those people don't want to pay any money. And so it's like, do you want to get ripped off by a reseller? Or do you want to donate it to somebody who can use it? So I could get things gone. But at the same time, these are things I know she spent a lot of money on. So I don't want to disrespect her 
Because one, when you get rid of your stuff, you've got to take time to mourn the loss of your things, especially when they are things that are important to you. But also, I don't want to be like, oh, don't worry about making that money when that money could pay for an extra suitcase. So I think I'm just very concerned that we will not get this done in time, in enough time where we will end up just leaving a whole bunch of stuff to be on the trash. I don't want it to be a mad dash at the end of this, which it may end up being anyway. I don't know. It is seven days later. We got here on a Monday afternoon and it is now a Monday afternoon and we can touch all the walls for the first time <laughs> since we got here. Um, all that's left in here now are some art that are against the walls and some big furniture. Um, there's some more things in the hallway that aren't really relevant, but two bookshelves, two coffee tables. Why do I have two coffee tables if I only ever had one living room? These are questions. Um, a box that came over with my family when we immigrated from England. Uh, this chaise is from a museum. An Ikea couch. My life was just all over the place. A uh, uh, dining table that I used as a desk. This was my desk. <laughs> I had a lot of thoughts. I needed a lot of space. Um, yeah. We made it through. In a week, we thought this, I thought I'd still be clearing this out. Like, until Thursday or Friday of this week. I'll tell you what made the difference. We had a third friend come today, and she's helped us take things out. And she's helped us uh, put things in her car and drive them down, which made two trips where we would have done one. So we kind of doubled up on our trips today. That's been really convenient. We just have to sort the things. It's empty in here, but all these things are in the Airbnb now, so we can sort through them. Um, this box, I opened it up, and I thought it was just closed, only to find out that it's a lot of fragile stuff that's wrapped in clothes so you know but other than that no surprises no animals or insects inside while we were here praises praises um we just gotta figure out what we're gonna do with the big stuff and we're good okay You know what, I think, I hope the same thing doesn't happen what happened the other day. We're gonna have to mute this part out. But I think because it was lying on its side and I picked it up real quick, that's uh, why it popped out the other day. Uh -huh. Let's do it over the sink. This is not in case that happens. Uh, can you hear that white cloth? I'm on video? No. <laughs> now you are. I'm on video. Boop, 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 boop. Well done. All right, let's get you some boobles. I don't know what's going on in that fridge, but it's cold. These bottles are freezing. Mess in a bottle. <laughs> Chomps in a bottle. And what are we drinking? And on Sweet Star. Okay, because... Oh, wait. Oh, chilled over ice. Why would I want this over ice? Isn't that like sacrilege? I mean, it's sparkling wine. It's not champagne, but still, you would think... This should be less dry than the one. 
Oh yeah, the scale is dry to sweet, and it should be less dry than the one you had okay. earlier. How do you feel about it? Oh, not bad. Not as good as the red one? No, that's still my favorite. That's everyone's favorite. <laughs> okay. We'll say the monkeys, is what I'll call it. Yep. Is that, what's that one? 100. Okay. And then the other one? The pencil drawing is 2,500. I don't want to pay them <laughs> the fee for trying to have 100 yeah. because they're gonna they're gonna well five years in storage and yeah. they survived it's so. on this so it's old here sorry i was no putting it the way i was gonna no worries it may not This is the third card of books. This is the rest of Rashida's boxes. And so this will join them. So I left the books with them so that they can calculate their order. And now I just have to wait here. Um, you saw how many books we had. There were some people in front of us, so we'll be here for a while. And so now we just have to wait. All right. These are my books. This is the collection. All of those decks back there. Here we have an example of how disappointing the Buy Nothing group in San Pablo has been. I have been trying to get the, the woman who said she wanted this purse and this tray, I have been trying to get her to pick that up for nearly a week. Um, yesterday, I confirmed with her aunt who wanted what's in the box is a mattress warm a mattress cover that has a heating element in it. She was like, yeah, I get off work at 8 p.m. She was like, yeah, I get off work at 8 p.m. I said, fine, I will leave it on the porch because we had nine million books to take to uh, half price books. Got home last night from half price books. Still there. Woke up this morning. It's still there. It, like I said, the, the buy nothing group is not what I expected. I am, I am having to repeatedly message people about things they said they wanted and getting people to pick things up has not been great. So I don't know if you are downsizing, uh, hopefully the group in your area is better. So here is just a fraction of the wine collection that we will be bringing to today's meetup for the ladies to take home with them. So these are bags of blankets and towels and sheets that are going to the Bay Area Mission. Here we have a box of e-waste uh, that is going to a recycler there. Here you go. That's it. That's it. Okay, so here we go here. So the mirror. You don't have to all it like that. All you have to, what I'll do is this. I'll put clothes and let me show you how we're gonna do this. It's easy to do. We'll put clothes, then we'll go in. We're going to go household, like that, and then we're going to have to log every every little item because right here, where I put the dollar sign, uh -huh. your guesstimated value of it is, is what it's going to be. Alright. So you could... Am I filling this out now? Yes, you are. Mm -hmm. I actually don't know my address. <laughs> Well, that, 2817? Yeah, I don't know. I wasn't thinking about that. Either. 
Okay, that's not us. And y'all would be surprised at how hard it is to find people who will take the things. Yeah. Well, the thing to it is, we're a non retailer, I can tell you for sure. Like Goodwill and Sound Retailer, they'll take it, but it's they're going to the show. It's a business. It's yeah, not. no, or they're shipping it overseas. But if we could get it, this stuff into the hands of people who need it, that's yeah. perfect. So it's the clothes. Did you? I did fifteen. What do you think? Can you get more than that? Yeah, I was gonna I say, really did you? So. Do a little yeah. more than go twenty-five. I did that painting right yeah. there for a thousand. Yeah. Change Plus the shoes. Yeah. There you go. All right. Because if you owe them and you produce these receipts, they'll they'll mark it off. And I will. We will come back more. Yeah, yeah. we got some more. <laughs> we got a lot more. Thank you. Thank, Thank, you. So Thank you guys. Thank you guys. Thank you. So e-waste? Yes. Like <laughs> Too bad. Oh, he said they don't take furniture, right? So they no. Oh wait. I'm just taking video. You photo ready, I love it. Wait a minute, wait a minute, I wasn't ready. Yes, there we go. Yes. All right, here we are. Um, February 5th. Yes. We started this January 23rd. Yes. And when we got here January 23rd, all of this, everything the light touches was full of stuff. And it's almost empty. This is our last run here. We're taking out stuff that we've had left that we didn't have people to take. We're going to clean it out. And then the storage unit I've had for seven years is gone. This is a momentous occasion. Momentous. How do you feel? Really good. I haven't been able to process the emotional toll that comes with getting rid of your stuff because getting rid of everything you've owned over 20 years in a two week period is an amount of work that is just unconscionable. <laughs> and so I don't have feelings right now. I just have thoughts and to do okay. lists. So I'm just working through my to do lists. Just doing what I can. I'm just doing what I can. All right. That's it. Now we get the whole thing. That's like a second. Oh, hell yeah, it is. I was moving that with Matt. I just realized. I'm sorry, I'm on the map. I was like, this side is, um. We are leaving Staples. This is the third place we've tried to get a packing tube for a piece of art. Um, it is 38 inches wide. We went to Michael's. No. We went to the UPS store. No. no. <laughs> We're in Staples. No. Everybody has 36 inch, but nobody has 38, 39, 40 inches. So this is, we're in the last 48 hour stretch of leaving and we have 47 million things to do. And what we're doing now <laughs> is just trying to find one packing tube, just one packing tube for art so we can be done with this. Okay. I just told Rashida that this, this, our trip 
down here to clean out her storage. This is phase one. That phase two is gonna have to happen at some point when she returns to her life in Mexico City because all of this stuff cannot fit into her apartment. I mean, and you're signing a lease on this place for a year. It'd be different if you were like, yes, but I'm moving into a house. When I tell you this woman finds new ways to hate, like she digs deep into her <laughs> belly and is like, I don't think I've gotten to the depths of my hate. I'm just saying. And so I'm going to show up with some hateful thing to say. She was like, oh yeah, this is just phase one of you. Trying. I did not say it that way. I just said, I you know, this is phase one. There are going to have to be, there's going to, this was first cut. And that you probably don't want me around for phase two because we have been purging things <laughs> for two solid weeks. We are heading to the dump now. Well, in a no. minute. We're going to storage to get the last of the trash out of storage. We're going to fill up this forerunner with trash, take it to the dump. All of that's going to be trash. That's all that's going to be trash. We're going to take it to the dump and then we're going to probably do another load tomorrow to the dump. And we've given away one full thing of furniture. Morbin would fit in here, like a, a pickup bed full of furniture. We've sold a bunch of stuff. We've given away bags of clothes and bedding that would fill up the that filled up the entire thing. And it's still not enough for her. She still doesn't want me to have things. She doesn't want me to be happy. Can y'all talk to her? Are you done? Okay. With you, yes. That is the last time, last time we're out of here. We were really hoping people would take these things off of our hands and save us a trip to the dump, but that didn't happen. Garage is almost empty. And then there is that. Okay, so three, one out of the four. Sunday night. I'm feeling feels. <laughs> um, just because there's so much stuff. And every time I turn around, there's more stuff. But there is significantly less stuff. There's significantly more floor than we saw <laughs> a day ago. <laughs> significantly more floor. But yeah, there's always something. There's always something. There's always something. And we need to get the picture out of that frame. Hello. Hello. How did we get so lucky? Well, I mean, we, we just <laughs> you know, three. We come in three helpings. Right? Like a thirty dollars job, right? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> this is probably like a five hundred dollars, right four hundred. Yeah, it's it's probably very close to that. Yeah. Oh wow. I'm hoping one of you are joking. No. This just the stuff. Yeah, it's just what it is. Is a, it's a charge based on how much room is occupied in the truck. It's a volume. But you have a $41 discount. But you do. <laughs> Where is that? What's, uh, That's what's a silver lining. We can uh, negotiate. Oh my God. I need some negotiation. I need but some I, good like juju right now. Yeah, yeah, okay. So it's... it's, it's... I'm going to show you our rates though. Okay. Yeah, we work. All right. So the... Yeah. Eight so, yeah. refrigerators. Oh, what? Well, that truck is kind of full. Way. Tommy Bahama piece of furniture. Look at this thing. Oh wow. Yeah. That's, that's oh, nice. That it's is Tommy nice. Bahama. Yeah. Or Thomas well, Kincaid, one yeah, of them. Here. <laughs> so 
life. I got you. The whole thing's like that. You need help. Make a living off. Oh wow! <laughs> this. Okay. okay. They at least think they're gonna make a living. Yeah. <laughs> it's probably a pretty hard living. Yeah. Yeah. Keeps them busy. Rashida, can you um? A bunch of people come out with headlamps. Uh -huh. At nighttime, yeah, and, and then, then if we show up early in the morning, they'll still be there with their headlamps. Oh and wow! The sun's up and their yeah, lamp's still there. on, and you're you're <laughs> shooing them away. <laughs> like, shine again. Yeah. Can yeah. can yeah. you imagine what the neighbors think? This? Yeah. 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 <laughs> that <laughs> three <laughs> trucks pulled up. Absolutely. Like, no. well, I'm thinking he's like, okay, I'm gonna send somebody right. I'm gonna call the office. And I was somebody. like. I was like, no, and then I looked over here, and I was like, oh, wow, there are three trucks here. Yeah, there's nothing else. Let me grab that bag I have right now. Can we try? Yeah, I can. Let Mia in, because she's having a fit. Well, we started at 11, which makes it feel like a long day. Oh, yeah. That does. Yeah. I talked to Nick, and he said he had a lot of, um, a larger load than he expected. Earlier. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it was. It's a 20 gallon tank. My God. Woo! Okay, this is a whole new world. Oh no, she's shaking. You are making a baby. Mm mm. She is, this is as relaxed as she gets. With our second load, you see the truck is full. Um, we're back here at the Bay Area Mission and she did have one of these cars and she was like, you know what? Let me go get a flatbed. <laughs> okay. Okay. Oh, oh yeah back at half price books <laughs> there were two big boxes we completely forgot $29.17 Okay. So here we go. Two boxes of books. A whopping $29.17. Woo! Thank you. Thank you. There's nothing else I need to do, right? Yeah, no, you're good. Okay, thanks. We're working hard. Thank you. The box in question. 
Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, ye